Hello and welcome to this new tutorial on EMG UCV. Today I'll show you how we can crop a part of an image using mouse in EMG UCV. So let's see the implementation. I have already created a project and I configured it to use EMG UCV 3.3. So let me add a new form. Right click on the project, go to add and then add a Windows form. Give it a name, for example, form crop image and click on add. So I first want to drag and drop a menu item and just like file and then and open. Okay, enough. And also a split container. And then inside each split container, I want to have picture box in each that's enough and let me resize it like this enough okay and also uh, let's dock this to the parent also for the picture box to dock it to the parent and in the file click on the menu and uh, maybe I will Readjust the size that is enough. Double click on open, and the first thing that you need to do, of course, is to using emgu.cv and using emgu. Dot, mm, using emgu.cv. Dot structure that's okay. And now I need few things. Now, remember, if I want to crop an image, let's say. I want to crop the image in picture box 1 and I want to display the crop part in picture box 2. Now I need to click this mouse and then drag it and release somewhere here so that it will give me a rectangle and using that rectangle information I want to crop that image. Now I need to remember two points that is the location where I click the mouse and I dragged it and the release. Uh, location so these two locations are important for me to draw a rectangle and then I will be able to crop the image so I will create few variables or objects according to my needs the first thing that I need is an image of type BGR I call it IMG input to hold the input image and then the rectangle RECT and which I will use to crop the image and uh, next two points that I mentioned is the start point I should say a start location it's more meaningful start location where I click the mouse and also a point and location where I release the mouse and then using these two points I can and draw the rectangle so first and uh, let me read this image I will use open file dialog equals new open file dialog if first show the file dialog to the user and if user selects an image then we should have dialog result that okay and then I'll be able to read the image into my IMG input equals to new image and in the constructor of this object I will pass the file which has been selected by the user the file name and of course I want to show it in picture box one so picture box one dot image should be equal to IMG input dot bit make that's it so till now it will read the image and display in picture box one now what we want to do next is I might need one more variable here to check that if my mouse is down or not is mouse down equals false at the moment I set it to false by default it is false and now what I want to do I want to define few events for this picture box 
So you can find the events in this properties window. Here you can see these are the properties and this is the events. The first event that I want to handle is the mouse down event. Here you can see. Double click on it and then it will create a mouse down event for us. We need two information here. First, once we click the mouse down event, we need to mention that mouse down equals true. So, and the second thing is we want to uh, note the start location of the mouse where it has been down. So we can get the location by e dot location. This will give the x y coordinates into the point that is into the start location. The next event that we are interested of the picture box event is the mouse move event. Once we clicked it down, then we want to move around to draw the rectangle. So we have an event that is called mouse move event. In the mouse move event, we are interested in, to, uh, in getting the location where the mouse is moving. But before that, we need to make sure that is mouse down equal equals true. I mean, if mouse is down, then we are interested in the move event. Otherwise, we are not interested in. So once it is down and it is moving, then we can find the end location. That is E dot location. It's not actually the end location. It, it should be the current location, we should say. But <laughs> I have given a name like this. It's okay. And one more thing that we need to do picture box dot invalidate. It means it will redraw itself so that it will show us the uh, rectangle with the start and in the current location where mouse has moved right now. And the last event that we need to handle is once we invalidate it, we need to redraw the picture box. So to handle the redraw event, whenever this picture box, sorry, is invalidated, it calls the paint event. So we will go and handle the paint event. Where is the paint event? Here you go. Here is the paint event. Double click on the paint event. It will open this event for you. In the mouse paint event, I want to draw this rectangle. So this rectangle should have been created for me and uh, its values should have been assigned. So the first thing I need to check if rectangle is not equals equals, sorry, is equals null, then I should be able to draw this rectangle. So I will create a simple function to first get this current rectangle so that I will reuse this function and again and again. I just call it private. It should return a rectangle. I call it get rectangle. Okay. What should this rectangle will do for me is rect equals new rectangle. It will create a new object of this rectangle. And what should be the x component of this rectangle is start dot x hmm. now remember this is this will cause a problem for example i assume that i click right here and drag the mouse downwards it means the x and y are increasing however a user might click right here and move the mouse in upward direction where x and y are decreasing for example so in order to deal with that i i will do here one thing I will find the minimum, sorry, maybe mat dot minimum function start location or end location dot x. One of them should be the selected based on whichever is the minimum so that we can draw the rectangle as I shown you in, in, in any ways you want to draw it. So rectangle dot y similarly for y. I will also do math dot minimum start location dot y and uh, end location dot y and also what about the rectangle dot width what should be the width of course it should be math dot absolute value between start 
location dot x doesn't matter minus end location oop, minus end location dot x the absolute will value uh, will make whichever is the biggest it doesn't matter for us it should give us the right with that similarly height should be math dot absolute value between start location start location dot y minus end location dot y so now we can return this rectangle great so in the paint event what i will do is i want to draw the graphics e dot graphics dot draw rectangle and this one is expecting what kind of pen are you using is pens collection i will use glass dot whatever color let's say red and which is the rectangle get rectangle so that it will return me the current whatever rectangle we have i call this function and it will give me the rectangle based on my start and the end location and this one will redraw the graphics as i move the mouse so far we have obtained the information about the rectangle and now we want to crop the image so when should we crop the image once we leave the mouse that is we click the mouse drag it and then up mouse up event we need to handle the mouse up event so let me go and this should be the last event that we need to handle once we have the rectangle then we can crop it using this rectangle information the first thing that we need to do is to check if is mouse down equals equals true if it is true then the end location should be this is the final location where we have uh, removed the mouse down that is the mouse up has occurred and also is mouse down should be false now and uh, also make sure that if rect is not equal to null i mean we have selected a rectangle then what i need to do here interesting thing img input dot roi equals rectangle i set the region of interest of the input image to be this roi and also i need to create img sorry image a temporary image bgr comma of type byte i call it temp is equal to what i want to do img dot copy blank so this will create a new image of the same size as I have set the ROI of this rectangle. And now I want to copy img input dot copy to temp. What it does is I set a, a ROI for the image that is region of the interest. Then the part of the image that I want to copy is set to this rectangle size. And then I copy this. Uh, image into the temp and uh, now i need to reset the roi of this original image back to rectangle dot empty sorry it's not rectangle it should be rectangle dot empty rectangle and uh, now once i have cropped the image i can show it in picture box two dot image equals to temp temp so far it should do dot bit map so we crop the image using the rectangle information that we draw using mouse and now we are displaying it in picture box two let's test this application file open let me select lena and now mouse down here and then drag it and then release it 
so you can see it crop the image any way you want to do just crop this part of the image this one and interestingly if you click right here and go back it will again draw the image it doesn't matter for it because we have used that rectangle dot get rectangle in which we have used this logic so this is how we can crop the image using the mouse event i hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video